Hello, my viewers. My name is Thierry Menek Benyong with the Sunday. I want to welcome you all to my YouTube channel on PU FOMO Academy. In this my presentation, I will be looking at the role played by Tolinda as a sign out in forming a process. The role play by Toline Dine ISO Cyanide that is TDI in a forming a process. This is what we are going to look at today presentation. Now, if you look at my previous uh, presentation, I did classify PU foam raw material. In that classification, TDI and polyol are the major raw materials as far as flexible foam production is concerned. Now, if you look at the production uh, process, if you look at the production process, the TDI in question are being consumed in two ways. One, the amount that is react with the polyol, that is a polymerization reaction, and the amount that react with water, that is a gaseous reaction. Take a look at this. TDI. <coughs> Lost gives a uh, distinct catalyst here for jelly. In this case, you have a uh, urethane linkage uh, form. Okay, this is the archive group of TDI. This is also the archive group of here. This is the urethane. This is the urethane eh, linkage. Now, looking at this explanation, this is TDI reacting with a polyol. And I did say that this thin catalyst is responsible for a cross linking between this uh, hydroxyl group and this isocyanate group to form this urethane. So, in that regard, this thin catalyst is present here as a uh, 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 Lewis acid acting as activator because in this group there is what we call nucleophilic attack okay on this carbonyl <coughs> compound of this carbon okay you know this carbon is bonded here to this highly nucleotivity element that is pulling it out making this carbon lack a uh, electron by so doing increases the rate at which this urethane is formed that is consumption one. Then consumption two is same TDI reacting with the water. In this case, what is going to form is the R and O O O H. You know, this is an acid. This is an acid. Are we all together? This is an acid. This acid is called carbamic. Carbamic acid. This acid is unstable. This acid is unstable when isocyanide react with water. Look at isocyanide here, reacting with water. Okay, in this case, it's form of a gaseous phase or a gaseous reaction. Here is form of polymerization reaction okay the carbonic acid here is on a stable it will then decompose to form co2 that enable the form to do what to expand okay now in the third phase let us let us look at the decomposition of this uh, the decomposition of reaction now 
the acid coming here. Okay, it will now decompose to amine plus CO2. That is the decomposition. So look at the acid here, the carbamic acid decomposition, because I just said that this acid is on a stable. It now decomposes to form this amine as an intermediate, and this one that will enable the foam to expand. So this is how Toluene diisocyanate is being consumed in two ways during forming reaction. Now, let us now look at the reactivity of this TDI. How does this TDI react? That is a question that we need to also uh, provide the answer. Permit me to clean this. Before, one is able to understand the reactivity let us look at the entire structure of toluene diisocyanide to see how the reaction occur this is the structure and this is the metal group this is a toluene now in this case we start counting the number of carbon atom in this benzene ring this one two three four five one two three four five and six now this is x here or let me write it in four is here then another one is here then uh, another one is uh, here so these are the <coughs> isocyanide group attaching to these uh, benzene rings. You know, under normal condition, toluene diisocyanate comes in two isomers. So these isomers, they have their own role. They play as far as PU foam reaction or is concerned. One, we have two, four, and two, six. Isomer. isomer so these are the two types of isomers that are in TDI in concentration of this isocyanide content here carries 80 percent whereas 26 carries 20 eh, percent making a total of 100 percent they react differently the difference in the reaction is what is known as steric hindrances Steer again in dancer effects. Now, how does this occur in this uh, uh, compound? Take a look at this structure carefully. If you look at this, the two six here, if you look at the two six, that is two four to then die isocyanide and two six to then die isocyanide. Those are the two isomers. Now, looking at this, you find out that <coughs> the two six are adjacent, adjacent to each other, this carbon atom. Okay, in this case, they are known as auto position. They are known as auto position. Now, look at two four. The four isocyanide group here is adjacent to adjacent, I mean the opposite, not adjacent, sorry, it's opposite. They are in opposite direction. This one are in an adjacent direction. So it becomes one four. Opposite. That is we call it para position. Para position. Now the effect of reactivity is due to the position of this isocyanide okay group that is attaching to this uh, benzene ring the benzene ring itself and the metal group carries what is known as bulky group bulky group 
or bulk group bulky group that is what constitutes this bulky group is the metal group and the benzene ring they are very big so in this case if you look at this adjacent atom okay this one that is the position of two six two and six they are undergo what we call high steric effect okay so there is a crowd here that is formed now what is this steric hindrance steric hindrance occur when a bulky group that are formed prevents other molecule not to react with itself we said the steric hindrance here occur so six and two form a crowd okay and they are very very close to the bulky uh, uh, group so in this case since they are since there is high steric effect there two six is less reactive it's less uh, reactive now looking at the two four this is two four the two four the isocyanate group in this position four is far from this bulky group is very very far so as a result of this uh distances that occur here it make it less steric effect as a result of less steric effect it make it a uh, more reactive are we all together so let me let me use this one more reactive now looking at the reactivity remember from this explanation have told you that the tdi itself consists of these two isomers two four is more reactive than two six because of the steric hindrance uh, effect here is highly blocked here is less block as a result of less block okay it's making it more reactive because of this that because of this uh, factor the two four is highly reactive the reason it react it is the one that take a dominant role as far as pu4 reaction is concerned in terms of the formation of polymerization reaction and that of gaseous reaction to further increase the cross-linking system of the pu4 more reaction but the two six also assist in doing so by also helping in a a cross-linking uh, density you understand but the nominal role the chief role is played by two four that is why in this isomers when this tdi have access to a okay it's going to be separated the two four will be separated from two uh six a isomer okay telling you that there's something wrong with that tdi in that case that tdi cannot be used for uh production or flexible foam and another thing you need to know that this uh turning dye as cyanide is highly regulated okay it's under regulation because of the acid also effect and that is why the government um are playing a very active role in ensuring that this uh compound is well uh, regulated by the consumers okay because the acidosis effect in such a way that it is a carcinogenic in nature another uh, factor please you can google it to check the effect of turning dye and cyanide on l you are going to see all the information online okay so this is how turning dye and cyanide uh, reacted and i did say that the reaction is due to the auto and para position of the isocyanide uh, group the auto position is isn why the para position is a uh, opposite there is a crowd here okay the the uh, here has a high steric effect here has the less steric effect because of the less steric effect making it more reactive because of the high steric effect making it less uh, reactive but in question as far as pu form uh flexible uh, form production is concerned it is a two four that take a dominant role 
in the formation of polymerization reaction and the gaseous reaction like i earlier explained in those so reaction that is consumed in two ways the man that react with water and the man that react with the polio so this is our auto and para position of turning that or cyanide affect forming a reaction continue to like my page uh on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a video you'll be notified subscription is free just like i said my video uh is once in a week thank you bye bye